What's up guys, back in today have another reaction to Dragon Maid S, this time with episode 7. Really excited for today's episode after focusing on the couples of the series last episode and a lot of hilarious moments. Uh, this season has just been absolutely knocking out of the park so far, so uh, again this episode is probably going to be another banger. Can't wait to get into the OP as well, but make sure you let me know what you guys think about this episode down in the comment section. Uh, leave a like on the video if you guys do enjoy the video and subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date with any of my reactions. And let's get right into the episode guys. 3, 2, 1, let's go guys. Ah, these two are meeting up. <laughs> That's what the tease him a little bit or something. What does it need power for? Lend me your power. Hmm. A bit scary, isn't it? <laughs> I have to thought the guy should usually uh, leave the house and leave his games, is he? So, a bit scary. Man, the boob physics in this opening, I've only actually noticed this episode. Pretty crazy. <laughs> of course, I'll notice this time. How can you not notice with uh, Quexel Call? And uh, the addition of Lulu, of course. So that, is that Quexel's, Quexel Cottles dragon in the background there? See, I always thought it was um, the long black one, but I guess that's Fafnir. I don't know where I got that from. <laughs> See, I thought it actually showed it in the season one opening, but I don't think it does at all, actually. And it's that big one and the uh, quite transparent in the background, isn't it? Yeah, my mind was all over the place when I thought I saw it before. Maybe we'll sit in today's episode from this uh, from this intro bit. I wonder where we are. <laughs> Banga. Ah, oh, he's still he's still doing this, eh? Good idea. So he changed to a full manga. Very sure. Oh, so he's looking for some real treasure. True. So he's looking to create his own treasure in the form of a manga. What does he want from her? I was, I was thinking that. <laughs> oh shit, so he's going to use her as the kind of star. Well, all, all it is is he's drawing you. <laughs> Me neither. But that's probably not the nicest thing to wear. Kind of like his situation, yeah. <laughs> Maybe not this fucking vulgar. That's not too different from what she's been doing. Not too different. Why does this guy have his voice actor as well? <laughs> Wow. 
ครับไปต่อกันว้าวสุดท้ายสุดท้ายสุดท้ายสุดท้ายสุดท้ายสุดท้ายสุดท้ายสุดท้ายสุดท้ายสุดท้ายสุดท้ายสุดท้ายสุดท้ายสุดท้ายสุดท้ายสุดท้ายสุดท้ายสุดท้ายสุดท้ายสุดท้ายสุดท้ายสุดท้ายสุดท้ายสุดท้ายสุดท้ายสุดท้ายสุดท้ายสุดท้ายสุดท้ I didn't see him do that. <laughs> I was gonna say, I, I think this guy wins it all. Ah, <laughs> well, I guess that was nice. Oh, thank God they're not showing us this. Wow, <laughs> that was a lot. There was a little exorcist uh, little reference there. Nice. I don't think you'll like them. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of accurate to what he wants. <laughs> Look at that face, man. <laughs> Yeah, I guess it is. <laughs> Wasn't very happy about that. Well, that's nice. He's actually paying her. That would sell out big time. <laughs> oh, big mistake. <laughs> That's what you should be selling. Big mistake. Sold out. Sold out. Nice. Voluptuous and prejudice. <laughs> Lucky hell. No. Oh, <laughs> really? Why? Oh, crap. <laughs> you gave it to the boy that's going through this. Not the best idea. Huge melons. Is this what she named her book? <laughs> He's reading it. <laughs> Uh, I think uh, I think that might be at the hand of Fafnir's manga, maybe putting him off a bit. That's just a little test by Quexel. Got all there. Hopefully, Fafnir's manga career can start off uh, at some point. Just needs to write, not find the right uh, subject, doesn't he? Oh wow. Oh. Yeah, I can see that. Ah, wonder how long. Wow. <laughs> yeah, not can't be the nicest wake up ever.
Yeah, she does sleep a lot. <laughs> so cute, man. Puffy faces. Yeah, I can't imagine that was the most comfortable sleeping position. That's nice. Kind of like the mother dragon. Oh, she's met her best friend. <laughs> Need a bit of rest from work. Is it though? Are you enjoying the boredom? <laughs> you could see the hint of their friendship there though, couldn't you? From uh, from the flashback we saw last week, or it might have been the week before actually. Do you really enjoy in this boredom? Boredom the right word for it? Our body needs it. <clears throat> and everyone got into that. Yep, seems you have the social pressures. But a lot of people don't. Obviously, people work nights and such. My sleeping pattern used to be awful. Sometimes it still is. It goes around though. Oh, she actually overslept this time. Only 9 p.m. Not a.m. Sorry, not too bad. Common sense is different for everyone. Yeah, that's true as well. Like we're at school? Oh crap. The ghost at school?
This guy's got a loud mouth, hasn't he? So psych hour. <laughs> Probably not. Yeah, well, maybe. A lot of people would probably just say it's fake, even if it was real. <laughs> That's what Kala sees. <laughs> Not quite sure what's perverted about that, but that's just Psycho's mind for you, isn't it? That was the case anyway. <laughs> uh <laughs> She sure has. <laughs> she must. Psycho as parent must have noticed a real change <laughs> when uh, when Kana came into this world. Oh. Oh. Oh crap. Oh, she's prepared to say it anyway. Fair enough. <laughs> Reasonably awesome. Wow, that's dirty. Ooh, god damn. Did you save that? Ah, oh, she got knocked out. Oh crap! No chance this time. Oh, I thought I was gonna hit that guy in the back. That girl really loves her little stick. Oh, it did. Oh crap! It's the older kids. <laughs> Although they're not really in any trouble with Canna there, are they? None of them know that though. Pretty fun time though, right? Oh, it's the ghost. It's coming from that room. Is anyone going to be brave enough to go in there though? The promise of love is too much. <laughs> yeah, of course. Of course it has to be Kana. Oh wow, it's just an open window. <laughs> Of course. Oh shit. There's an actual ghost in there. Something at least. She caught it. What the fuck? <laughs> that little fairy. What's it doing? <laughs> 
That is pretty creepy, isn't it? <laughs> it's cute and creepy. Guess she's just gonna keep it. <laughs> what is this thing? Why is it so hench? <laughs> oh my god, man. Yeah. Horrible. I hope this guy's not going to be able to do that as well. <laughs> He does. Ah. Oh. Where is this little girl enjoying it? Well, that was an interesting little fairy, wasn't he? <laughs> I believe there was actually something there. Base. Yeah. This guy loves her photos. <clears throat> Of course you will. <laughs> Whenever Kala says yes, that's a yes on her behalf as well, isn't it? That was a cute episode, wasn't it? Again, a bit of a shame for Fafnir and his uh, and his manga dreams, but that was a really nice uh, little end to that episode with the kids uh, going ghost hunting. And it was an actual being, a little fairy. <laughs> Little creepy hench fairy man. I do love these songs where they put all the cast in there. Always very fun, aren't they? Both in this assassination classroom. I think I've seen it in a few other shows, but I just can't remember too many off the top of my head right now. But I always nice. It's always a nice little trope, isn't it? Again, it just gives a little bit of energy to the uh, to the end, whereas ends are usually quite slow and. Uh, and such. What have we got for next week? Quite a lot of focus on Luca and uh get his name now. Damn, looks like a sick episode. Wow, what a photo as well. <laughs> but, um yeah, Luca and uh Shota, that's the one. I remember it now. Yeah, quite a lot of focus on them in the last few episodes. Hasn't there been Shota and uh, and Luca again? Again, quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of character development in these episodes, which have been really awesome to see. Um, obviously, it's always uh, it's always right seeing Luca like this. But um, yeah, another great episode. Unfortunate for Fafnir, his manga didn't go down too well. He actually had a good kind of uh, good kind of grasp of what to go for, but um, just didn't pull it off quite correctly. And a little bit too much kind of sadism in there, in there I guess. Um, but the second half of the episode was really awesome as well. Seeing, uh, um, well, I think there was three, uh, there was three parts actually, wasn't there, with uh, Toru learning about sleep and such as well. That was quite wholesome. Um, her kind of joining with the uh, human society and such. But um, this last part was uh, probably my favourite part of uh, part of all. Maybe, maybe Fafnir's part was uh, 
up there as well but uh, in this last one all the kids going ghost hunting and seeing Kana and Saikawa uh, being cute as usual but they're being a little horrible little pixie uh, horrible little hench pixie uh, yeah it was just a great episode yet again make sure you let me know what you guys thought of this episode down in the comment section though uh, leave a like on the video if you guys did enjoy the video and subscribe to the channel if you uh, want to keep up to date with any of my reactions usually do a video or two daily but have a good rest of your day guys